What's up, Wildcats? We are going to be on the bio of our new assistant head coach and running back coach, Alonzo Carter. Coach Carter, you might be familiar to some of our fans for a multitude of reasons, and that's what we're going to dive into today. One of those being you were on The Ellen Show because a viral clip of you dancing. Can you tell us about your history of working with MC Hammer? Uh, when I graduated from college, I went on to travel the world with MC Hammer, the uh, leader of the posse, one of his background dancers. During that time, we did the Grammys, American Music Awards, Arsenio Hall Show, and the Oprah Murphy Show. And from that, I came back, went back where I was from, which is Oakland, California, and went back to our high school, McClymouth High School. And that's where I started my coaching career. And from there, it led me to junior college, and from junior college to San Jose State, and one day, Coach Brennan, he pointed at me, he see me shake my head, and he was like, let's go. The players had no idea of my background. And when I started dancing, next thing you know, it was on the local news, and next, I woke up the next morning, it's on Instagram, it's on Twitter, it went viral, and then we had an opportunity where it reached uh, Ellen, so it's just something that I love. But don't forget, I'm, even though I can dance, I also can coach very well. <laughs> what made you want to transition out of that dancing and entertainment world into the football world? Well, when I came back home off tour, I felt it was important to me, being born and raised from Oakland, a former teenage dad myself, uh, I wanted to go back to my community where I was from and why I had that spotlight on me, let these young men and women see that I'm no different than them and you can change lives and affect lives and I felt me being a former athlete myself, why not dive into my community and start affecting and changing my community by coaching football and track. And another way you've changed lives is during COVID times, you did a series of Zoom clinics in which you spoke with coaches across the country impacting hundreds of coaches. What inspired you to do that? Well, once again, uh, Coach Brennan challenged us during COVID to find professional development. I started reaching out to different coaches and let's start creating conversation to how we can be better professionally. And right during that time, we had the thing with George Floyd, which kind of could have split. You know, you had America split right down the line. And I was like, we have an influence by wearing our logos to be able to affect young men and young women across the country of all different races so it was more trying to educate people on how to have empathy for what was going on at that time in America. And it was nobody, it wasn't planned. Uh, I came back, started off with 30 coaches on a basically Zoom platform with some help from a few friends that were other college coaches. And next thing you know, that thing grew from 100 to 200, all the way up to like five, 600 coaches per platform, including coaches like Eric Bieniemy, uh, Coach Dino Babers, Derek Mason, David Shaw, Kalani Sataki. I mean, I made sure, uh, and of course, Mike Loxley, which he started the National Coalition for Minority Football Coaches, that's the risk man, which that started from that platform and it just continued to grow. We still have our Zoom calls, even though that has passed, but I've now, I'm the chair of the executive committee with the National Coalition for Minority Football Coaches, and it used to be called the West Coast Zoom Clinic and now it's grown, now I call it the coast to coast Zoom clinic because we cover all across the country. But uh, it's been great and I've been thankful and I'm going to continue to do that because that's just an organic part of me. Nobody planned it that way, but it's, it's a big thing and it's still going on. No, that's amazing. And we're so excited to see the impact that you will have here at Arizona Football and we're excited to have you a part of the family. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you. And of course, bear down. Bear down.